day everyone and welcome again to the Be Rooted channel. I'm your host, Hao Chong, a full-time Chinese metaphysics consultant and energy healer. We are back together with Chris Lo, teacher of Vedic astrology again. Today, we will be diving deeper into the wealth aspect of your astrology chart and how to further maximize it. Without further ado, I will pass the floor over to teacher Chris Lo. Over to you, Chris. Thank you, Carl. So the in the in the previous session, we were talking about Venus, right? The position of Venus in various houses. What can you do to activate Venus? So today I'm going to talk about the sign Pisces. Okay, why Pisces? Because Venus is exalted in Pisces, meaning Venus is very powerful in Pisces. Now, not everyone will have Venus in Pisces. Okay, but everyone must have Pisces sign in your birth chart. It all depends on where it is, which house it is, depending on your ascendant sign. So today we will talk about Pisces sign. Okay, great. Yeah, hold on, let me render. Huh? Can you see my slides? Yes. Okay. Okay. So Venus is exalted in the sign of Pisces. It means that Venus power, so to speak, huh, becomes uh, powerful or is the maximum power of Venus when Venus is in Pisces. Now, what is Pisces sign? It is a common water sign. Okay, what do you mean by common water sign? Pisces, first and foremost, is a water sign. Okay, now we have also uh, Cancer and Scorpio. They, these two are also water signs. But Cancer is a moving water sign. Scorpio is uh, uh, what you call the stable water sign. Okay, a fixed water sign. Pisces is both movable and fixed. Okay, so imagine this uh, when I say movable, uh, for example, Cancer, right? think of a sea and ocean. These are large bodies of water and they are moving all the time. So that is like Cancer. Okay, Scorpio is like a deep, dark lake which, has the, which is still at the surface. You don't know what's going on underneath. Okay? Pisces is both of them. It can be movable. It can be fixed. So that's what we call common water sign. Okay. Okay. Now, Pisces sign is also about overseas. I remember I talked about Elon Musk, right? Yeah. His uh, Venus... Uh, is, is in the 12th house. So the, when we talk about Pisces sign, there's some energy of the 12th house as well. So Pisces also talks about going overseas. Long, long trip. Okay. Pisces is also about isolation. Okay. So for example, if you, if you go overseas alone, you are isolated. If you go hospital, you are hospitalized, you are also alone. Okay. In the more negative, extreme case, like you are, you know, you go to jail, okay, which is also represented by Pisces. Huh? You are isolated from the rest of the world, okay? You go crazy, you go to asylum, you are also isolated. So Pisces is all about that. Moksha, okay, this is a term which we call it letting go, okay, letting go of desires. Now, this is the, the interesting part about Venus. Huh? We, we were talking about Venus being the significator of wealth, money, love, relationship, right? But Venus actually is very strong in Pisces and Pisces talks about moksha letting go. Okay, so there is this 
this uh, I would say gray area. So what do you mean? I Venus talks about money, but yet I have to also let go. Okay, now this has to do with the mythology of Venus, which or Shukra, which I actually shared last uh, session. Okay, now in order for Venus to really help you, right? You need to know how to let go. For example, uh, for example, for some people, right? Why is it that when they donate money, they earn more money? You need to know how to let go of money. And of course, it doesn't apply to everyone. It all depends on your ascendant sign. That's why some ascendant sign, right? When you donate money, you somehow get a lot of returns. Mm. Yeah. Uh, it's not just money. You donate your time. You don't have money, then how? You donate your time. Become a volunteer. Okay, you go and help old people, for example. Okay, it's about giving. Letting go of your desires, giving to, to other people. That's when Venus becomes strong. Okay, so, so the thing about, depending on your ascendant sign, okay, you need to learn how to let go sometimes, all right, in order for Venus to help you. And of course, Pisces is the most philosophical and spiritual sign of the 12 signs. Right? And, and this, this part may not gel well for some people because I don't want to be philosophy. Uh, I don't want to be philosophical. I don't want to be spiritual. All I want is money. Hmm. But for some ascendant signs, which I later will go through, uh, that's exactly what you need to do in order to earn money. Ah, so the more spiritual you are, the more money you have. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, and that's the first sign. Later, you, later I, will, I will talk about it. And in terms of body parts, right? Pisces represents the feet. Okay, this is important, which I will also go through later on. Huh? All right, so Pisces represents a lot of things, but for today's uh, session, we will talk about all these things. There's a common water sign, overseas, isolation, moksha, philosophical, spiritual, and feet. Okay, 